you know it's plenty of dudes out there who are terrible people but they don't get ridiculed they don't get nailed to the cross they don't get scrutinized meanwhile you as a man who's not wanted you the one that's told to work on yourself get a better personality change your mindset people want to scrutinize you but they don't scrutinize these bum dudes out here you know dudes who done threw their life away and did all kind of bad things up under the sun they don't they don't scrutinize those men and this is why i say personality does not mean anything you know i know a lot of guys out there probably used to believe that personality mattered to people i had to get it through my head no one cares about your personality if you don't look good if you ain't if you're not popular if you're not rich no one cares about you having a good personality that don't matter to people and that's what i had to learn to understand you know i used to think that having a good attitude mattered to people most people don't even have a good attitude Μπες στον κόσμο της κλασικής γεύσης Bacon Σαλάτι You know And there are plenty of men Out there Who have bad attitudes Who are complete Dickheads But women still get them all to play in the world So that's why I had to learn that personality means nothing to a woman. Personality means nothing to people in general. No one cares about you having a good personality. You know? Um, a lot of women, they say they care about a man's personality. But... When you see the relationships that a lot of these women get in, you know they're, 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 they're lying. Women say one thing and they do something totally different. You know, they tell you as a man who's not desired, stop watching pornography. You know. One thing I had to learn, and you know, I grew up religious, and in church they tell you that you, you know, it's, it's wrong to watch porn, but I don't feel bad about watching porn. You know, as a man, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta feed your lusts, you gotta feed your desires. That's what you gotta do as a man. See, in, in, in church, you know, they, they, they always told you that you got to suppress that, you know. But, you know, I, I, I know that that's a bunch of BS. Um, it's crazy how they tell guys who are not wanted that we got to change ourselves. But there are plenty of men out there who don't have good personalities. They don't have good character what? but they get a pass because women Don't like them so I had to understand that when women say they care about a man's personality they lying these women don't care about no freaking personality I mean I notice that in this world there are a lot of people who don't have a good personality Especially nowadays, most people sea. don't have no yes, good personality. Right, uh, and yes, the best thing that I can tell anyone, just do what, what you got to do and stay the hell away from people. Because people yes, are evil Lord. and Our people, got, and people don't have sea. good intentions. I had to learn that the hard way. What? You know, I had to learn that people don't care about your personality. And women definitely don't care about your personality. Having a good personality, having good character, having a good attitude, that don't mean anything. So that's why I don't pay people no mind when they tell me work on yourself. There are plenty of men who not working on themselves. 
Those are what you call gaslighting uh, tactics that people like to siege. use on. When people tell All you to change your mindset, those are what you call gaslighting shaming tactics that they're trying to All use right. on. Yes, you know. So, I don't want to hear that foolishness Jordan about working on your personality. I don't even entertain that nonsense. You know, they tell that because that, that's that's just what they like to tell men who are not desired. Work on your personality as if that's going to do something. And what does my personality got anything to do with a woman slobbing on my sausage? Or me bending a woman over and putting my sausage in her behind? I mean, what, 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 does, what does having a good personality have to do with any of those things? When it comes down to getting nasty with a woman, what 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 does having a good personality have to do with any of that? So it's all BS. It's just an excuse that women like to make to excuse their bad behavior. And that's why women say they judge a man by personality. That's just an excuse to excuse the bad behavior that they tolerate from men that they find physically attractive. But we all know personality means nothing. But you guys have a good night. Job's done. Our town is under siege. What is it? Ready to work. Ready to work. Town is under siege. What job done? Ready to work. What work? What? Our allies have job done. Under siege. Yes, me lord. Our town is right under siege. What is it? I can't yes, build that. Ready to win. Off I go then. Alright. Our allies are now then. Under siege. Job right done. Our town is under siege. Job done. Yes, me lord. Our allies town is under job siege. Done. Ready to win. Ready to work. What is it? Yes, me lord. More work. All right. More work. Our allies' town is under siege. What? Our town is under siege. Our allies' town is under siege. Oreo Pac-Man Special Edition. Βρες ένα Oreo και διεκδίκησε μοναδικά δώρα. Back with another late night discussion. I want to talk real quick about the power of positive reinforcement. I don't think people realize how important it is to have good life experiences because good life experiences contribute to an optimistic mindset it contributes to just a positive outlook on life overall and it contributes to just being at peace and being happy you know as an individual um when you a person who has not experienced a lot of positive reinforcement, it can cause you to develop depression. It can cause you to develop a negative outlook on life. And it can cause you to develop low self-esteem too. Um, it's very imperative that you have good life experiences. There was a gospel song you know, and uh, I used to hear it quite often, you know, uh, where they, they, they literally say on the song that uh, long as my good days 
outweigh my bad days, I won't complain. But what if you have more bad days than good days? That's going to contribute to a negative mindset. So when people try to bash people for having a negative mindset, I'm thinking in my mind, well, perhaps if this individual had better life experiences, then they wouldn't have a negative, pessimistic, gloom, doom mindset. You know, I don't think people understand that it's very imperative that you get some kind of positive reinforcement in life. Because when you've had nothing but negative reinforcement in life, it's going to cause you to be a very pessimistic individual. And this is why I'm going to say it, and I know I've said it before, God wanted to punish some people. I don't know why he wanted to punish some people. I remember in the Bible, God killed some children. So, you know, I just know that evidently he wanted to punish some people, you know, for whatever reason. I, I, I truly believe that God, he, he wanted to make a, a, an example out of some people. And uh, some people are an example of what you don't want to be. Let's just be real about it. Um, people that you see who are at peace in life, people who are happy, people who are confident, people who have a positive outlook on life, those people have had a lot of positive reinforcement in their life. And I notice people who've had a lot of positive reinforcement in their life they seem to be more at peace in life. They seem to be more content with life. And, and, and it's no coincidence to why they're content with life. It's because of the goodness that has been bestowed upon them, the good experiences that they've had. Um, I wish that I could have been one of those lucky people that got to have a lot of good experiences in their life. But what I had to understand, you can equate a negative life to being unattractive. Because one thing I had to understand, if people think you a bad looking person, you're going to experience a lot of misfortune in life. You're going to be excluded and written off from a lot of things. And it's going to contribute to a lot of bad things in your life. You know, um, <sighs> you know, the, these, these life experience, one thing I had to understand is that the most important thing in life is your experiences because your experiences create a story and everyone has their own story and Whatever experiences you have in life, those experiences are going to define who you are as an individual. So if you have a lot of positive reinforcement in your life, then that's going to lead to you being a well-rounded, positive, confident, positive, you know, positive, good, good self-image type of individual. But when you're a person who's had a lot of negative experiences in your life, that's going to lead to you becoming a, a negative, pessimistic, gloom, doom, doomer type of individual. I mean, this stuff is not rocket science. People should know this. You know, experiences tell your life story. And when you're a person who's had a lot of traumatic life experiences, that's gonna greatly uh it's gonna it's gonna it's just gonna break you down and it's just gonna cause you to be a effed up individual and that's why some people are effed up because of the experiences that they've had but unfortunately life is a gamble i heard lil wayne say that before uh you don't know what life is gonna give you and whatever life is giving you you just have to saddle up, buckle up your seatbelt and take it, you know? And when you a man, unfortunately, 
no one is going to feel sorry for you because you've been dealt a bad hand in life. You know, people want to tell you to man up, you know, but that just go to show you how sexist that this society that we live in is. No one cares when you a man, unfortunately. Um, I wish that I could have been one of those people that, and I'm sure you guys do as well, I wish I could have been one of those people that had a lot of positive reinforcement in their life. Because when you have positive reinforcement, that's going to give you peace. That's going to give you good self-esteem. That's going to give you confidence. That's going to give you all those things, you know? But when you when you a person who's had a lot of negative experiences in life when you've had a lot of negative reinforcement there's no way you gonna have a positive mindset you know so you know experiences are everything in life because every experience that you have is gonna shape how you see the world it's gonna shape your perception and how you see things every experience that you have in life you know um, positive reinforcement is crucial and unfortunately you got a lot of you got a lot of guys who didn't get that you know and uh, when you've experienced a lot of negative reinforcement from people especially the opposite sex you're not gonna have that confidence that you need to have as a man you know you, and, and if you if, and, 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 and what's so sad about it is this world that we live in is a very uh, it's a very it's a very evil and wicked place and it's very sad that something as simple as your appearance can eliminate you from love and happiness. Something as simple as the way you look as a man can just totally eliminate you from being able to have love and happiness in this life. And I think that's terrible. Very unfortunate. Um... I hear people like to say that you can manifest the life that you want to have. There are certain things in life that you do have control over, but you cannot control the way people perceive you, you know, because your appearance determines how people perceive you. And um, when you're a person who's had years and years and years of negative reinforcement, it's just gonna break you down. And that's why some of these dudes that, that have had a lot of negative reinforcement, they'll never have the confidence and that dominance that you need to have as a man because they've had so much negative reinforcement. But that's just something to think about. You guys have a good one. Until we meet again. Good night.
Yes, Milo. Yes, Milo. Oh, work. Our allied town is under siege. Our town is under siege. Oh, oh, oh. Job done. Job done. What is it? What? Upgrade Ready to Our allied town is under siege. Our town is under siege. Yes, sir. Yes, you know. Yes, me lord. Job done. Oh, work. Our allied town is under siege. Job done. Yes, me lord. Oh, 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 yes, me lord. Oh, oh, I go then. Right then. Our town is under siege. What? Our oh, allied oh, town is under siege. Yes, me lord. Oh, 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 work. Yes, me lord.
Ανακάλυψε προσφορές από 40% και άνω για όλο τον Μάρτιο στο World Market. From pioneering sleep science, deep nighttime renewal, advanced night repair. What's going on now? Back with another presentation. I just wanted to say uh, something I wanted to talk about. Um, I realized that there is a way to go about doing things. You know, I was just thinking to myself, this would be a good topic to talk about. Um, and there is a way to go about doing things. Um, you don't have to bash yourself. You don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to be, you know, over the top to get your point across. You know, um, I, I wish I would have had this mindset a long time ago. There's a way you can talk about circumstances and problems, you know, without uh, being overbearing and trashing yourself. And I know that's what some people who reached out to me years ago was trying to get me to see. But, you know, with, with time, you start understanding things. And I feel that I'm going in a... I feel I'm going in a more positive direction as far as talking about circumstances and problems, you know, because there's always a way, you know, in how you do things. And uh, I feel better that I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going about things in a better way now. Um, this is an unfortunate situation. A lot of guys are in bad situations. Uh, you know, um, the, you know, I, I, I would, I would, I, I sympathize with anybody that's been uh, ridiculed, been through nothing but hell, been bashed all their life. You know, and I feel one of the worst positions to be in is to be ridiculed and, 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 and bashed by the opposite sex. Uh, that's one of the worst positions you can be in. Um, I just feel that a lot of guys were totally misinformed about women. See, when you understand the nature of a thing, you know how to combat it better. And including myself, I was lied to about women. Told that women care about you being a, a, a good person. Told that, you know, it's all about who you are as a man. Who you are as a man don't even matter to them. You could be the devil in the flesh. Because women are shallow. They going off of looks, money, and clout. That's all women care about. Women don't care about you talking. I used to think you had to talk about some deep stuff with women. And I was reading about this not long ago, the molecular structure of an atom. I mean, you don't have to talk about nothing deep like that. The average woman mind don't even go to go into stuff like that. A woman don't even want to sit around and talk about that kind of stuff. No way. I used to think in my younger days that you had to talk about something so deep with me. You know, I mean, I, I feel good that I'm reading and learning about different things. Just how I was reading about long term field trims and short term field trims. You know, uh, you know, it's some deep stuff dealing with automotive, but you don't have to talk about nothing deep with women. Women don't care about that kind of stuff. Like, at the end of the day, I think guys need to be informed about the truth about women at a young age. Back when I was a teenager, you know, I used to think that you had to be a thug and a gangster in order to get a woman. Being a thug and a gangster never had anything to do with getting women. I was misinformed about that, watching too many rap videos, you know? Um, I think it's just good to know the truth at a young age. 
but sadly, you know, you know, especially mothers, a lot of mothers, they not gonna tell their son the truth about women. They just not gonna do it, you know? Um, I just understand that, you know, there's a way that you can talk about these problems and issues. You know, you don't have to totally just trash yourself. Even though, you know, this is a horrible position to be in. I wouldn't wish this situation on my worst enemy. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that guys had to be in this. But I think it would have helped guys even more if they knew the truth about women from a young age. Who you are as a man. I used to believe that women cared about your character and what you stood for as a man. Women don't care about your character. There are plenty of dickheads, plenty of uh, uh, degenerates, plenty of devious characters out here. And those men get a lot of sex. They get a lot of women. Uh, you know, and women, they, they overlook the red flags in those men because they find them to be good looking. So I had to understand that your character don't even matter. I used to think that, you know, uh, being a man of God matter to women. A woman don't care about you believing in Jesus either. A woman don't care about you believing in no God. That don't that don't matter to women either. See, I hate to say this, but I was told a lot of BS. From me. I was told a lot of BS. You know, I used to think that. You know, my grandparents always told me that. You know. Uh, if you a good person, you'll go far in life and everything will work out for you. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true either. <laughs> a, a lot of guys have been totally misinformed, but I, I feel that the way, the angle that I'm going about things now, I feel that I'm going about things in, in, in a better way. And if I could rewind the hands of time, I would have took this path instead of the path that I did when I first started making content. You know, you know, you don't have to, you know, just, just, you know, go gun ho and just, you know, bash yourself like that. Um, even though, you know, you know, guys in these type of positions are seen as losers, you know, but I mean, you know, I tell myself, you know, it's not your fault you're a loser. I mean, who want to be a loser, you know? I mean, because that's how society sees men who are not desired by women as losers. But, you know, it's not like no one chose to be a loser. Um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, I just think that uh, guys, it, it would help them more if they knew the truth about women from a young age. Because, I mean, being in, a, being in a bad position is one thing, but being lied to is a whole different thing. That's a whole different can of worms, being lied to. Being told that women care about who you are as a person. Who you are as a man don't even matter. Because I used to always wonder, how come you got the worst type of men who have the most success? But I'll tell you something. Because this is a shallow world, and women are shallow. But, uh, you know, it would have helped a lot of guys if they knew the truth early versus finding out about all of this stuff later. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I'm just proud that I'm going about things in a better way now, and I'm not trashing myself and bashing myself like I did in the past. But, um, that's what I wanted to talk about for now. You guys have a great Thursday. And I'll be back at you real soon.
reload. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. 